They know everything, maybe even better than you. Working with people, there's always surprises. You can tell honestly what are the risks of the weed. Hey, I'm Vera, I'm a youth worker. So actually youth workers are organizing free time activities for the youths, but that they're also, they're not only organizing the free time activities for, for the youth, but they're also there for youths who maybe need need some support in their life, maybe they have some questions, maybe they just need the attention of the adult. Maybe they don't have it at home, or often also youths like to talk some, some things to other adults than for their parents. So we are not teachers, but free time nice adults. You can study already in uh, after secondary school if you don't go to high school but you go to vocational school you can study to become youth and community leader and then you can you can then already be youth worker uh, and then you can work in the youth houses youth centers but then if you want to do a bit more specialized youth work to, to work with a bit more like needed youths or do some kind of a special youth work where you need more skills then you have to study either in, in University of Applied Sciences, you can study to become community educator, which I am, or then you can study to become social leader. I think that's the name. After Uaste, you can go either to Amatikoulu or Lukia, and you can study to become youth worker in Amatikoulu. Or you can go after Lukia or after Amatikoulu, you can go to the Ammattikorkeakoulu. It depends also where you live. I would say that in Helsinki you earn more than in other cities. Uh, maybe if you are just uh, like a basic youth worker who have studied only in uh, vocational school, Ammattikoulu, then you earn maybe 2,200 to 2,500 about then if you have specialized if you do the specialized youth work if you studied in the higher education then you earn maybe 2500 to 3000 but it depends also not 3000 maybe <laughs> but in a private sector you earn more so most youth workers work for the city so then the salary is lower if you are even higher educated in the like higher than the bachelor if, if you study master degree then you can also work as a, of course the boss of the youth workers or then you can do this like how to say coordinating work you can coordinate the youth work or you can plan different programs and then your salary is of course even higher i enjoy most exactly being with youths because we do also a lot of work when we are uh, calling phone calls making emails something like that but mostly i enjoy when i'm with the youths and and when i can see that they are enjoying their life when they have developed somehow when they find new friends when they find something interesting in their life when they actually are like becoming more brave and independent that that's like my favorite part <laughs> Uh, it's a hard question because if you don't have any social skills, if you are very introvert or you don't feel comfortable to work with other people, then yes, I would say it's difficult. But if you feel like easy with other people, if you know basic things in the life, then yeah, you need to have some patience and maybe imagination. But then for me, it feels very natural when I like people, when I'm interested of people, when I have patience, then it's very easy. But it depends on the people. And of course, when you work with people, you never know what will happen. So there can be very difficult days, but there can be easy days. But with but working with people, there's always surprises. So you have to be ready for surprises. Mm, maybe first of all, it's very good if the teenager tells you about it. If you know about it, then it's good to have the like, good connection with the youth. If you just go and blame and say how horrible and stupid and dangerous it is, then probably you will like somehow block the connection. But if you have the good relationship and you can ask from the youth, 
first of all, maybe it's good to ask why he or she is using it. And then you can tell honestly what are the risks of the weed. Because, of course, youths nowadays, they find everything from the internet. They know everything, maybe even better than you. But there is, of course, like a re real reasons why it's very risky for the youths, and especially for the youths. So it's good to tell it like honestly. And then I think it's very important with other drugs and alcohol to find something, something else than the weed. Because, of course, it can be just wishing to try something. But if a youth or whoever have something more interesting in their life, they don't need to use any weed. So finding something interesting, doing what, what the youth can do in free time. No, <laughs> no, we also in the youth centers and in my like workplace, we always have total no for energy drinks. And the reason is like, Generally, I don't see any point for energy, ener with energy drinks for anyone. But youths, if they sleep well enough, they do some sport, they do something healthy and interesting in their life, they wouldn't need any energy drink. They have all the energy they need. And of course, when you're a youth, you are tired when you're growing, but it's natural. Then you sleep and rest. It's of course, it depends on the kids, like everybody have their own troubles, or, or own problems. But I would first, if there is a kid who don't go to school, who don't have motivation, I would find out what is the reason. Some kids, maybe they don't have friends at school, maybe they are bullied, maybe at school, maybe the studying is just very difficult. So the most important is maybe to find the reason and then start to help. And of course, kids, if they have some friends, if they feel comfortable, if they see that they can learn something that's helped the motivation at school a lot.